Yes, people, you are seeing right. For the first time today, I am planning out the next three weeks on my black papered bullet journal. And on top of that, I won't be using any stickers. Who even am I? I don't know. Let's get into it. All right, so I have the black bullet journal open in front of me right now, which is, by the way, the exact same as my white version, just with a black background, obviously. And the first thing I want to do is to import these pages into my normal white papered bullet journal because I want to have everything in one document. So what I'm doing is I go to the exact same spot that I would usually be at in my white paper bullet journal, which is in the middle of February. And then I'm going to hit the three dots in the top right corner and hit copy page. Then I'm going back into my white paper bullet journal, which is my main planner for 2020. And I'm going into the page layout. Then all I have to do is find the spot where I want to import that black page. So I'm going to the last week. I will hit add page after after and then paste page and this will import the black page into your planner. Then now what I'm doing is I'm going to duplicate that page twice because we have three weeks to plan out and then the pages are in my planner. Um, one thing I have to mention, if you want to do that, if you want to switch between white and black pages, the hyperlinks on the imported pages do not work. They of course are tied to the original document. So whenever you hit the hyperlink, it won't get you anywhere. But because I just have like three weeks in there, it's fine for me. Just something to consider. Anyway, now it's time to plan out these three weeks. And as I said in my intro, I'm not going to use any stickers, not even washi tapes. I am just going to use my handwriting and a whole lot of the drawing assist, to be honest, uh, which I'm going to talk about that in just a little bit drove me crazy during this plan with me, but I got it done eventually. So for this first week, I'm going to keep it very, very minimal. I'm choosing the vertical layout. I for now have these vertical lines already placed in there, but I'm going to delete those out later. I just want them kind of as a reference of where one day starts and where the other ends. And then there's actually really not much to say other than I'm putting in all the necessary things that I need in that week, which is a lot of bullet points, my habit trackers and a weekly to-do list. And that's it. Very minimal, as I said. I really, really stepped out of my comfort zone with this one. So once I was done, I realized, well, there is February 14th in that week, which is Valentine's Day, of course. And I thought, let's just bring in some color. It's a little bit too black and white for my liking. So I just used a pink colored pen and drew some hearts in there. Nothing fancy. It's still kind of muted down, but at least I know that that is Valentine's Day. <laughs> Alright, so with that first week being done, now let's move on to the second week or the third week of February. And this is the week that really drove me to the edge of my patience. And the vision that I had for this week was to bring in a lot of geometric objects. And if I wanted to have it neat, I needed to use the drawing assist. And I said it a couple minutes ago, that drawing assist really tested my patience. For some reason, I don't know if it was because I was zoomed out too much or I was zoomed in too much, but I just could not draw a diagonal straight line. It would always be a little bit crooked. So you see the sped up version, which is nice. But with these boxes on one, I just spent like 15 minutes. I'm not even kidding. So it took me a while. I cussed a lot, but I got it done. And honestly, besides all the trouble that I had to go through, I really like this spread.
then for the habit trackers i just copied the ones that i created the week before i just didn't want to draw them again and then apparently because i still had some energy left i decided to fill the empty space with some more triangles but only a little bit and then i copied the rest because it was just too much for me that day Now let's move on to the last week of February and I was really inspired after creating all these geometric objects that I wanted to keep doing it but this time in a honeycomb pattern so I created these octagons and placed them next to each other kind of in a random pattern so it's not too symmetrical but still keeping in mind that I only had that much space to work with and even though it's really random it's kind of confusing to look at I actually really like it And then for my bullet points, instead of the usual circles that I do normally, I wanted to create some more octagons and put them all over the spread. And this is another half hour of my life that I'll never get back. And now on to my habit trackers, and you guessed it right, more octagons. So now that I have everything in, I had this weird space in between where I couldn't really do much with. So I just decided to continue with the honeycomb pattern just a little bit to fill out that space, but still keep it kind of minimal. And then I only had to put in the numbers and then this week is done as well. Overall, I have to say it was really fun planning out on a black paper bullet journal. I think especially if you have the dark mode turned on on your iPad or on your phone, it definitely helps. I think it is more gentle on the eyes. The only thing that does not work on the black paper is the highlight. So if you're using the highlighter a lot, then this would just not show up because nothing shows up on top of black. You would probably have to use the pen and circle some things that you want to highlight. But other than that, it was really fun and I can really see why people are so into it. Mm -hmm. 